Black Report, your daily source for black news, views and opinions. Wife and Lucci has been released from a Fulton County jail after being arrested for murder last month. According to TMZ, the key to the streets rapper posted a $500,000 bond. However, the judge is requiring Lucci to follow a strict list of conditions while he is a free man. He has to surrender his passport, wear an ankle monitor, and he has to be required to be at his place of residence every day between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. The only thing he can do outside of those hours is meet with his legal team, go to medical appointments, and visit his children. Additionally, Lucci is not allowed to have any contact with any of the witnesses, victims, or co-defendants of the case. He cannot associate himself with any convicted felons or known gang members. He also has to stay away from posting on social media and can't visit a specific studio in downtown Atlanta. I mean, it sounds like, it doesn't really sound free, right, guys? It kind of sounds like, I don't know, that, that doesn't really feel like he's a free man to me. But It's just not in jail. Yeah, I right. guess yeah. it's like, yeah. I guess that's better. Yeah. Y-F-N, your friendly neighborhood what? You know what I mean? But he's Is that what that stands for? Yes, I, I looked at it, yeah, your friendly neighborhood. Huh. Fill that's, in the blank. Yeah. Rashawn Bennett, his name, he has several charges that he's up against, like you said, uh, and he's safe from the streets. So even if he really didn't do it, can he say something? Mm. Those are rules of the streets at the end of the day. So mm. I'm saying. interested to see how this plays out because you got one person who um, is is gone, someone who's lost their life, and then yeah. someone who says, hey, I didn't do it. And so I want to see this play out in court for sure. Yeah. Definitely do. All right, rapper Casanova, who is jailed in New York in gang-related federal racketeering case, is facing disciplinary charges over a dance challenge video posted on social media. That's right, the 34 year old rapper whose legal name is Coswell Sr. will be disciplined by officials at the Westchester County Jail after a woman recorded him accepting the so called June Bug Challenge during a video visit, the Journal News reported. Westchester County Correction Commissioner Joseph Spano said correction officials have revoked Casanova's video visitation privileges because recording videos and taking pictures during a virtual visit is prohibited. Casanova faces another charge for not wearing a mask, authorities said. Now, Casanova's attorney, James Kosoris, noted that his client was not the one who posted the video and said he hopes the matter can be resolved without Casanova being cut off from video visits. The only way he can see his loved ones during the coronavirus pandemic. Kosoris said Casanova was just trying to keep his spirits up and have a laugh. Uh, yeah, not a, not a good time for that. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that. You know what it is. You're in a situation where it's very, very serious. And where you're trying to uplift the spirits of your kids or your family by doing that. Mm -hmm. As you see the video there, in case you don't know, soulmates, that's the June bug challenge. Everyone's doing it. Um, not a good look for him. It is not a good look at all. Honestly, I feel like this is something that should have just stayed in the group chat, the family group chat, to say, hey, guys, he's in good spirits right now. He's laughing. But this was just, it was unnecessary. And now look at where you are right but now for, you do that, for you a TikTok challenge. You know somebody's going to post it. You know somebody's you know, Am I on the other, I'm on the other end of this, and I, I think, think this rule are. is stupid. I think it's okay. stupid. I think a lot of the rules in jails and prisons are stupid, and they're just to rip people of any bit of humanity. This is stupid. He did a dancing challenge. Somebody recorded it through a video. They weren't right. even physically together. This is stupid. But this Michael, is a ridiculous but, reason to take away somebody being able to have contact with the outside world. We're supposed to be about rehabilitation. We are. If he's convicted of this and he goes to prison, the goal is supposed to be to have him be able to come out and have community. I, I mean, come on. Mm. This is ridiculous to me. Yeah, it's a serious situation. I wouldn't yeah. have done it. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it either. I don't see how you get phones in jail either. But ne nevertheless, now moving on, a Louisiana woman who went viral for using Gorilla Glue as hairspray may finally come unstuck. With the Beverly Hills plastic surgeon reportedly offering to remove the sticky stuff for free. In case you missed it, take a look. Hey, y'all. For those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No. It's not my choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move stiff well whoa my hair so i'm gonna tell y'all like this if you ever ever run out of got to be glue spray don't ever ever use this unless you want your hair to be like that 
Jessica Brown, whose hair has been stuck solid for a month, has already tried medical help with a trip to the ER with the acetone treatment, only making the situation worse and burning her scalp, she says. According to TMC, plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Obing has told her that he can finally end the sticky situation using medical-grade glue remover in a procedure that could take three days. Brown has raised more than $13,000 in an online fundraiser, and she gets to fly to Los Angeles on uh, tomorrow, actually, to get this procedure done. I mean, you know, I literally know her, uh, the video ver verbatim, word by word, because I've seen it so many times. <clears throat> I mean, it's just kind of like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel like that this was on accident. Um, and I don't like the fact that we're saying Gorilla Glue Girl because she's a 40-year-old woman. Um, you know, she looks like, you know, I wear extensions, very proud of it. And there is nothing close. Those two glues are not even in the same area of Walmart, of Target, or of anywhere that store that you go to. Yeah. So I don't feel like it was an accidental thing. I don't. I feel so bad for her. I you think do? she made a stupid mistake. I think she made a really stupid mistake. I, I I don't know. I don't think she did this for attention. I think she made a stupid mistake and she thought that it was gonna be able to wash out. And it was obviously it wasn't a smart decision, but like right now, like there I've seen like doctors say that they're worried about her scalp and her health and, and maybe possible surgery. I don't know, I just feel bad Brooke, for her. I don't want you to feel bad for her because let me tell you something. The equip what she did, what the, the, the yellow spray that she did, that's like gel. What she sprayed on her hair is the equivalent of um what well, is that glue? No, it's, it's glue. It's, it's like one of the strongest glue. adhesives no, 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 no. out there. Listen to me. Okay, listen to what I'm saying is there is a gorilla snot is what she was trying to. There, there's a gorilla snot that is the equivalent of the yellow bottle, and it's a it's a gel. It's a gel. It's like it's meant for your yeah, edges. Yeah, it's like hair gel. People use right. it when they have spikes. But what she used is the is is permanent glue. Like it's permanent glue. Like that's like you know using like permanent. You're I don't not, know. Look, <laughs> you're not a five year old, six year old that made a mistake by not reading a bottle. She's forty. Exactly. And the hair That's why is I don't tight. want to call her Gorilla Glue Girl. Okay. She's 40. I just want to be honest when I say that. The hair ain't moving. On top of the fact that the <sighs> procedure is costing $13,000 in three days, but she gets it for free. So, Hope it's I mean, losses. a multimillionaire is doing it for free. It's all right. They'll both be all right. Yeah, she'll Maybe be, he'll be fine. <laughs> okay. You know, like, come on. I don't know. I feel bad, guys. All right. <laughs> CNN host Van Jones reportedly was not happy with how hosts on The View handled his appearance on the show. Page Six is reporting he called it unprofessional. Jones was on The View last week, February 5th. He was there to promote his new documentary when he was questioned about his past praises of former President Trump and the distrust some in the black community might have of him because of it. Watch this. There are those who really accuse you of being a political opportunist, a chameleon, so to speak, who provided a racial cover for a former disgraced, twice impeached President Trump. You said this, and I quote, Donald Trump, and I get beat up by liberals every time I say this, but I'm going to keep saying it. He has done good stuff for the black community, opportunity zone stuff, black college stuff. There's a side to Donald Trump that I think he does not get enough credit for. Yet, just recently, you cried uh, on CNN when Joe Biden was elected the 46th president um, and you said it's easier to be a parent now character matters now truth matters you even mentioned George Floyd and said a lot of people felt they couldn't breathe people in the black community don't trust you anymore what, what is your response uh, uh, well I, 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 don't, I don't think that, that that's true if you, the entire quote I said was that that Trump has done a lot of good stuff he doesn't get credit for and then I went on to say the reason I get credit for it is because he's done all this horrific stuff said all this horrific stuff and it completely erases what he's done. Kind of got a little bit there. Uh, a source told Page Six he felt like they were rude and he was completely blindsided by how they questioned him. Here's a little bit more of that interview. Television. I try to be balanced. But look at what I've done. Who among my critics have been able to get people together to help folks at the bottom? When we fight like this about everything and you can't give anybody even a little bit of credit for anything, who hurts? It's not the politicians. It's not the pundits. It's regular folks who don't have anything. People who can't vote because they're in jail. We have to put their interests first. Uh, by the way, his new documentary is called The Reunited States, and he produced it with The View co-host Meghan McCain. Uh, you know, what we have here is people, one, not wanting to apologize because they don't see it as mistakes, but they want other people to be okay with it. And unfortunately, some people have drawn a hard line when it comes to any sort of support of Donald Trump, his rhetoric, or his supporters. And if you find yourself on that side at all, we talk about it with Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Some people are not going to be forgiven of that. And, it, and you got to either say it with your chest or say sorry, but you can't force people who have been harmed by all of those bad things that he admitted to say, oh, it's okay.
I mean, what, you know what I mean? I, I, I get that it's frustrating for him, but what do you want? Well, some people say he was sleeping with the enemy because of the whole relationship with Trump. But right. now, who did he produce this with? Meghan McCain. So I feel like maybe this is a chance. He knew where he was on the fence with black folk, right? That this is a chance to put it in front of his face and him to get it out. So could could this be a publicity stunt to try and clear up that message or bring more attention to the documentary? That's all I'm saying about it. So here's my only issue with it, right? And so I am not negating how The View feels. I'm not, I'm not, not, not you know, taking away anything from the black community about what Van Jones has done. I do, however, feel like as a black journalist, this was a little blindsidish, in my personal opinion. Like, you know, this is like the equivalent, Brooke, of like, or, or Romeo, someone coming on our show, right? And they say, like, again, we could have totally been wrong in what we said, right? We could have made a, a terrible statement, but if someone coming on our show under the auspice of talking about their new book, and then all of a sudden, oh, Brooke, well, you know, tell us about the statement that, you know, you would be, you wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like that. So I feel like it's understandable for them to, you know, feel how they feel and host to feel how they feel, but I don't, I don't feel like the way that it was carried out, where they literally took turns, you know, you know, saying how, what they don't like about him. I personally didn't think that that was right. Take that chance. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Ooh, I get spicy sometimes. All right. Now, <laughs> take a look at our YouTube soulmates. It's also spicy in the chat. Uh, someone else says that Michael B. Jordan is gorgeous. So we all agree. Uh, one of our soulmates here, uh, <laughs> uh, Skip Nate Page says, um, you can't, she, the, the lady, the Gorilla Glue lady, she says that she cannot sue because she used adhesive spray, like it's on the bottle. Another one of our soulmates says that they're going to subscribe to Fox Soul because they love how we do our job. I love it. Another one of our soulmates says that they love how this production is live, but also really looks good. Oh, thank you. Another one says, uh, Kim Johnson says she loves the Obama. And then also another comment about uh, Karen Lewis. And I mean, it's just so much. We don't have a lot of time, but I love you guys. We love you guys. Keep on commenting and we might have space for one more comment to make it to the chat. But stay right here because we're going to be back with more Fox Souls Black Report.